Hello, I'm Michelle from 3 Light Yoga and today I am bringing you a Dru Yoga activation. This activation is nice and easy to do and it is perfect to bring you energy for those days when you feel a little bit tired, you feel a little bit sluggish and you need something quick, simple and easy that's going to give you that boost of energy to go ahead and do whatever it is you have to do on, on that particular day. So we're going to start by standing up and I'd like you to start shaking the right hand. Shaking the hand and the fingers and then let's take that shaking up into the elbow and into the shoulder. Releasing any tension from that arm, flicking it all down and then relaxing that right arm and starting to shake the left hand and the left elbow and the left shoulder and again flicking it down any tension tightness tiredness just flicking that off good relaxing the arms and then i'd like you to balance on your left leg taking the right foot of the floor and starting to shake your right foot if you want to hold on to anything the wall, a piece of furniture, go for it. And then we're going to shake up into the knee and start shaking the hip. Good. Taking the leg maybe to the side, maybe behind you. Back to the side again and relaxing that right foot. Moving the weight to the right foot and starting to shake the left leg. Left foot first. And then shaking up into the knee and into the hip, taking it to the side, behind you. Lovely, just shaking the hip about and then planting both feet. And from here, we're going to stretch up, lifting up, extending the spine and then fold forward, taking the arms behind you. Bending the knees, breathing, reach and breathe up, down. One more. Lovely, coming back up, relaxing the arms down and starting to focus on your shoulders. There can be a lot of tension in the shoulders. We're going to take the right shoulder back and down and then the left. So moving the shoulders back and down, back and down. Good. Lovely stretch of the shoulders and the chest. And if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can lift through the elbows, creating more of a stretch on the side of the body. And then you can take the hands all the way up and back. Good. And from here, we can change that movement from a stretch into a figure of eight. For that, taking the hands in front of the chest, close enough as if you were holding a ball, and then start to move that ball in a figure of eight in front of the chest. Nice. And now you can explore the space around you, taking the figure of eight high above you, or taking it further down, you can widen the feet to take it all the way down towards the mat. Just moving the body, using that figure of eight to give the body the stretch it needs right now in this moment. Nice. Such a lovely sensation to move freely. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. Just tuning into what the body needs. And then slowly coming back, letting the arms slow down, relaxing them by the side, and then starting to twist from the base of the spine. That's another area where there can be a lot of tension. So keeping the feet facing forward, arms and shoulders are relaxed. 
and you're twisting from the lower back. You can take the arms a bit higher if you like, moving the stretch higher up into the back, into the spine. And then you can make that a bit more dynamic by coming up onto the toes, lifting the heels as you go. Twist is one of those wonderful movements that really frees up the tension from the spine. So if you don't have the chance to do the full activation, just doing a little bit of twisting will do wonders for your back. And if the back is healthy, usually the rest of the body can happily follow. Whereas that if there is pain or tension in the back, it makes life a lot more miserable, doesn't it? <laughs> Good. And then slowing the twist. Slowing it down, taking the feet back to face forward, roughly hip width apart. And then crossing the arms in front, we're going to breathe in to lift the arms up and then breathe out down. And again, breathing up, breathing out. Good. Pausing the next time your arms come down. And from here, taking the feet wider and turning them out at 10 and 2. And we're going to cross the arms again, breathe in. This time as you breathe out, sinking down as low as comfortable. Breathing in, up. Breathing out, down. Activating the legs. Feeling the strength of the legs, of the thighs. Last one. Beautiful, well done. Coming back up, relaxing the arms, feet back to hip width. And now I'd like you to take your arms up, extending back and then folding forward from the hips, letting the whole body hang down. From here, bend the knees, breathe in to lift up. Taking the arms above the head, gentle back bend, and breathe out forward. Twice more, breathing in, reaching up, expanding, and breathe out down. Last one. And this time, as you come down, just hanging there. Letting your body relax. If the back of your legs feels very tight, you can bend the knees to make it more comfortable. And then feel that you're releasing tightness, tension, tiredness. Anything that's feeling a little bit heavy, that's weighing you down. Feeling that you're breathing it out into the earth. You can imagine you're breathing in from the back, from the heels, through the back of the legs, into the base of the spine, and breathing out along the back, through the arms, and down to the earth. Don't worry if your hands are nowhere near the ground. Just allowing your upper body to relax. And now bending the knees and slowly uncurling. Stacking up the vertebrae. And coming back up to standing in your mountain pose. Well done. Probably feeling more energized, a bit more flexible. A bit more a bit, those kind of activations are much more than just for the body. They also wake up your mind, let go of tension, of tightness. And I wish you a lovely day taking that newfound energy into whatever it is you are planning to be doing today. Thank you for practicing yoga with me and I'll see you in the next video.